All right. So plenty of things are happening here. Ah, uh, hello. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? Oh, God. Uh, just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Oh, oh, that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Stop with them. I cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. And you say all that to a bloody hooker? Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Well, that is going to make the one Pendleton who is on my side very happy. Uh, uh, retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. Mm. I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. I think not. Uh, we're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! Oh. Well. I feel like this is really great retribution. Who is this? What do you want? The combination of your safe. The safe, yes, of course. The combination is one, three, eight. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. All right. I am not going to shock you again. Am I? He's an art dealer, and he is a lying, cheating bastard. Okay, this Please, this was funny. My heart won't take this. Ask me anything. I screwed the pendulum. Whoa! And, and I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. Well. Just one more. Just one more time. Oh. Oh well. Bye bye. Whoops. I guess I kind of overdid it. Let's see then. Wonderful, wonderful time. For all the guards and all the men of the Empire. By the time I'm done, I'm fairly certain that no men will be left in this bloody, bloody place. So, what do I need to do now, I wonder? Let's see. Powers, bone charms, objectives, objectives. Return to Slugjaw with the safe combination. Well, alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, that was really kind of a stupid thing to do. But from now on, I just... LOL. This was just too much fun. I could not not do it, you know? I can't help myself. I really cannot. I see the opportunity to stab a creep, I stab a creep. Even if he really hasn't done anything to deserve it. But hey, that's the playthrough, that's the idea. I hear you bad mouthing me. So now I have to kill you all again. Didn't I come to this way? Am I completely, completely insane? Oh, will you now? I heard you there. Damn! That was good! I'm scum! I mean, look at that hair! You are the scum!
Madam's office. VIP exit. Fine, I'm obviously taking the VIP. Whoa! How did I even miss this? I'm I'm screwing up so badly today. It's just ridiculous. Hello, madam. You're an evil woman. Do I kill you? I probably should have. But I feel mercy. And sometimes. I know we're running low on beds, but I must have a room for the child. She's more important than you can guess, and recently she almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the master's key in my possession. This girl must be cared for, even if she's a brat, and I want her kept in a room to herself. Of course they don't know who the girl is. If they knew, do you think that these idiotic soldiers would listen? Yeah, I knew that already. Sweet dreams, sweet cheeks. Ah. The bone charm, the bloody bone charm. I feel like I'm missing something. Let us take a long, good look at everything in here. And not be completely surprised if we happen to see something awful. Like maybe the Outsiders. You know, another place of worship for the Outsider. Oh my! Talking about the Outsider. My gentlemen callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? That's nice. I often forget that Granny Rags is wherever you least expect her. Which is a cool a cool little thing of hers. Have you seen it? The handsome one with the beautiful Yes I have. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. I will. Let's see. The Outsider. For most, the Outsider is nothing but a child's tale, meant to instill fear of that beyond the family, the community. When I was young, my mother and I were on the run. Moving from one village or sea town to the next. Oh, I actually read this a few episodes ago. Yeah, that's right. It's really, Granny Rax. I can't see. No, don't go. Let Granny Rax tell you a story. Okay, tell me a story. Ask you anything at all. Which would you like? The history of the great city of Dunwall? No, no, that's not for you. You want the tale of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Regal, fair-minded, she brought prosperity to the city, hope to all, then violently murdered these six months ago. Quite a tale you weave, old woman. Nothing's been the same since her death. Oh. Poor child. Her spirit lives on, trapped, misused. It does? And for what really? But here's the worst part. It was a man she trusted over all others that did the deed. They say he's in league with the outsider. And that he won't rest until everyone in Dunwall is dead. Dead and cold. Well, now, not quite everyone. Told you a tale, so maybe you'll tell it to someone else later. Change up the ending a bit if you want. Oh, I see. It sounds like you know the, the man that the Empress cares above about. Above all others, doesn't actually have any part in her murder. Oh, I see. And that was that was the one bloody bone rune. Couldn't get. Charming. Let's see if there's any 
enemies around. Come on. Mm. Trekking through this city. Not as fun as it could be. But hey, it's good enough for me. Can I pick your pocket? Yep. Seems like I can. Sorry, Gruff, old boy, but I'm amoral. Let's jump along. Maybe sing a song. And get that information. And I do believe my part of the deal has been completed. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you're too kind about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. No. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Adorable. Cool. Very, very cool. Let's take these spring razors. And let's go save my little girl. Which maybe I should have done while I was in the bloody golden cart. But I wasn't sure whether I would have to do something to the Pendletons. Whoops. If I would have to do something to the Pendletons after I delivered my part of the bargain to the tug. Yes, yes, I know, you are surprised. And now, let's see, Granny Rags, anything else? Passing with no coin. Granny won't forget. No, she won't. Creepy. Let's pretend that I did not notice that. Hmm. Exciting, exciting, exciting. I do believe I have one more. One more bone charm to get. Ah, that sound. That super creepy sound. Very interesting. I'm sure I'm missing something here. I wonder what it is. Never mind, uh, let's move along. Move along. Can I open this? Now I can. Oh my. Well, this looks lovely. Lots of coins. And of course, a bone charm. No wonder the outsider is so influential in Dunwall. There's literally bone charms and bone rune and well runes every bloody where. The boldest measures are the safest. And if I had to say something, that is, I would say that the most stupid guards, the bravest, I suppose. Yeah. Again with the music. Interesting. Hello. Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? 
Don't you know I am your father? Dun dun dun. Of course it's me. Hello, Emily. Grown up sly. It happens. Like, for example. door to come and go for special people and I'll show you and if anyone tries to stop us you can fight them it's oh me child care excellent ah Emily I can't wait to play with you and I don't mean that in any dirty way, she's just the central character in Dishonored 2. And she looks like the most fun I could possibly have by... This place is on the Good road, job. So you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. The girls do not like this in Adam. She is not kind. Not at all like the old. That is so sad. Now, everything I want is to get my little Emily safe and sound. Dear birds, I she with her purse, and, and is not, not as frail as she seems. I'm sure. The children sometimes circle Granny Rex, following along and taunting. You can hear them too, crying out in the dark. She has given herself fully to the outsider. I can tell. The thinkers of the city. They devise new ways to detain the elements. Cool. Now I do believe I'm pretty close to finishing. Have I missed anything? No, I think not. Really, this has been. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run away! We got a prowler. <laughs> How could I screw that up? No, you don't. I'm not even going to waste my time with you, lot. I'm just going home. And you should thank me for that. Though this is totally the wrong way. Pretend I did not go that way. Hey, Tug. Oh. Thank you. This has been refreshing, let's just say. Hello, boy. Don't worry. I'm not here for you. Yes, that's something I've always wanted to tell someone. <laughs> I'm not here for you. And so on and so forth. Of course, having all that in there is kind of the norm. Let's remove dark vision and let's just leave. Samuel's taking us to a pub. He said there are dead people in the river. Yeah, you're very nonchalant about that. She sees more than she's telling. Young Lady Emily. She's awesome. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. I will let her be a pawn no longer. Armed with stories of magic and seafaring. All to keep us sane. That's so sad. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. She clings to her childhood things. But they bring her only grief covered. So I can imagine. She sees more than she's telling. Alright, we're done. Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. Yeah, that's what I do. It kind of is. Like, totally sociopathic. Well, I found not a single sock of painting 
which maybe I really should have, well, you know, done something and looked for. <laughs> My bad. Ah, but still, not that awful. I'm not one to speak against my betters when I get out, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown up business girl. I mean, your ladyship. <laughs> Samuel is so worried. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Uh oh. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this poor girl. And then she has this aristocratic streak about her, and she may be pretending that it didn't get to her, but perhaps it really didn't. Who knows? Young lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. Oh, that sounds lovely. A fantastic place for a child. Bye, Emily. I miss you already. She's my favorite character in the whole game. Armed with a blade, you changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. And this doesn't seem men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. What I mean to say is, doesn't it kind of seem like a very nice thing has happened to the third Pendleton? Wouldn't someone suspect him? Perhaps it's better to kill him too. You know, just to be safe. Plus, I like to go in trees. I have discovered that it's a good way to lead life. Stabby stabby! God, I want to stab him so badly. The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. You hated we your brothers. The Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh. Yes. And Havelock's looking for you. He just... Ha! Uh, I'm not even sure I want to talk about this. He literally just sent me your way. I know he's looking for me, but apparently not as hard as you were looking for me. And then you... No? Nothing? Weird. Never mind. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge. But you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. I'm That's charmed. I can see that you're trying to Damn make me feel like you are playing on some father-son bonding here, but I do not appreciate it. Where is this old chum? Oi! Piero! Ask me for any gear you need. And all I have to do in return is pay you, right? Charming. Charming man. Upgrade. Let's see, what can I buy? Not much, I don't have all that many coins. Still, spring razor capacity, not not bad. Bolt capacity, not useful. Bullet capacity, I've got 20. I don't really think that I'm going to need any more. Hey, pistol magazine and pistol reload, both useful. Pistol accuracy, even more so. Excellent. 
Merchant of Disorder. Oh, require 15 equipment upgrades. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Grenade capacity, I hardly ever use grenades. Spring razor capacity, I'll take this one. Because why the heck not? Good job! Yes, I'm very self-congratulatory. I realize that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been fun. And I will see you next time. <laughs>